Question five. So let's summarize what we've got. So we're told the heights of some females is normally distributed with 166.5 is the mean. Standard deviation 6.1. So we, we write the variance just there. Always helpful to draw lots of diagrams when you're doing this. And what are we interested in the first bit just here? It tells us given that 1% of females in this country are shorter than this value just here. Right? So we want that bit to be 0 0.01. One. So in other words, what we're looking for is we're looking for the just summarizing what we're actually told here. That's k that equals 0 0.01. Well, we need to work out how many standard deviations were above, below. You can just use your calculator to go and do this. Um, doing it just as a is like an inverse. Um, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, is work out how many standard deviations you're above, below the mean. So that's equal to minus 2.3263. And if you look that value up in your tables, um, it's going to give us k equals 152.309. Okay. Um, so working from here, part B, right? again, just, just using your calculator. All right. So we've got 150 um, between 175. Right? It's just one mark. Just go pop it in your calculator. All right? Make sure you can use your calculator properly. All right? Make sure, you know, and again, that's the case A and B. It's just using your calculator in the right way. Um, okay, part C, a little bit more complicated. Now, what we're trying to work out is we're trying to work out the probability that uh, the height is more than 160 given told that this person is between 150 and 175. So to work this out, it's going to be, it'd be 160 to 175 divided by this figure. This figure we've already got, 0 .0 0.915. 160 175, I'm, I'm going to work that out in exactly the same way as that we did up here. So that'll give me, so what's that, 0 0.7749 divided by 0 0.915 and that equals 847 just there. Right, on to part, uh, part D. Um, so we need to do a hypothesis test here, okay? So Things that we need to write down. We need to write down, so, the null hypothesis. That's where mu is equal to, the mean is equal to 166.5. And the alternative hypothesis here is that the mean is less than 166.5. That's what the mean is belief, right? Mean height of females means is less than, okay? So that's the alternative. Right, let's summarise everything else that we've got. Well, we're told... But new standard deviation is 7.4. N is 50. Um, X bar equals 164.6. And um, we're working at 5% level, or 0 0.05. Right? So that's everything summarised that we've just got just there. Right, now again, let's have a little think about what's going on. The easiest way of doing this question myself a little diagram now because it's a sample it's when we when we talk about the standard deviation here it's of the means okay it's a sample of means so we're interested in where that 164 lies all right so we're interested in where that is so let's assume that it's still 166.5 we're trying to work out is this unusual to be over here? So everything's going to be the same effectively, but we're working with this figure for effectively for our standard deviation. So we've got we're looking at a distribution of the means. So it follows a normal distribution. So 166.5 and 7.4 over root 50, and it's that square that's the variance okay so what we're interested in 
is. What's the chances? What's the probability that it's less than 164.6? That was our observed value. So if I just feed these values into my calculator, and that will give you 0 0.0347. Two. Now we need to make sense of that number. All right. So that 0 0.03472 is less than our 5% that we were told to look at. So therefore it's in this kind of unusual zone, okay, which supports means belief. So what we're going to do is rejecting the null hypothesis. Oops, that looks like the wrong. All right. The null hypothesis. And there is evidence to support Mir's belief that the mean is lower.